Here we have Truffles, little girl cockapoos. Two little, kind of a medium red. Yes, sweet babies. Sweet babies, they're so cute. Yes, they are, the good little girls. These girls, their eyes are just starting to open. Let me see, I don't think... I don't think we have anything. Oh, there's a tiny little glimmer in that eye. Nothing, well, just a tiny bit. Their eyes are just starting. Oh, this one has a little more. This one you can see a little eye in there. So sweet. So that means as their eyes open, their ears also open. So they can hear more of what I say to them. Hi, oh, babies. Yes. At this age, they just need lots of gentle handling. We like to do all kinds of weird things with them. We turn them over like this. We hold them upside down. And all of that makes them more accepting later of things that kids will do to them or, you know, anyone. We spread their pads so they get used to their nails being handled. We open their mouth, and you can see there's no teeth in here. Just, just little gums. They're so cute. No teeth, but I feel in there, so they get used to it. So later you can brush their teeth. I really like the idea of brushing a dog's teeth every day, but a lot of people don't get to it. Um, but you still can teach your dog to tolerate descaling. So. If you brush every day and you don't have any buildup, you don't have to worry about it. But if you don't, you can get a descaler for dogs on Amazon and scrape the, the scale off their teeth. It's very important to keep their teeth clean because rotted teeth cause horrible breath, they cause pain to the dog, and they cause heart disease. It will shorten your dog's life. So keep those little teethers clean. Hi, baby. All of my adult dogs are trained to stand at the grooming table while I'm grooming and while I work on their teeth. And I use the descaler and clean their teeth really well every time that I groom them. And they just accept it as part of the grooming process because they've had it done to them ever since they were puppies. So the more you do with your puppy, hair dryers, Clippers. If you don't have clippers, anything that buzzes, put around them, you know, to get them ready for the groomer later. Handling their mouths like this and their pads like this. Especially spreading the pads and doing the inside of that foot with your finger. None of it hurts the puppy and it gets ready. Gets them ready for the groomer so that it's easier. That transition. I hear puppies playing in the background. The bigger puppies are having a good time. Hey, sweethearts. So these little cockapoos, because they're a first generation cross, all we do is first generation crosses. Both parents are purebreds of different breeds. So their mama, Truffles, is a cocker spaniel, and their father, Jasper, is a poodle. And that gives them hybrid vigor, which eliminates most of the genetic negative traits that purebreds can have. Not to say they can't ever have health problems. There's a lot of contributing factors, you know, how you feed and um, the vet care and the dental care that your dog has. Those all affect health, of course. Um, but the hybrids are just a lot healthier than the purebreds. Hi, sweetie. Yes. Yes, you little cutie pie. Now with our cockapoos, when you breed a shedding dog, like a cocker spaniel, to a non-shedding dog, like a poodle, about 75% of the litter will be totally non-shedding, and 25% will be low shedding. So most of them don't shed at all, but occasionally we do get low shedders, and they don't shed a ton, but some. Nothing like a lab or a German shepherd. <laughs> or a collie, or any of those nightmare shedders. <laughs> All right, little girls.